I think the risk associated with going in to get your blood drawn is, is probably quite low. Um, you know, health, all healthcare providers are going to be masked. The time that is spent uh, getting a, the blood actually drawn is quite low uh, and generally you're in and out. So for what I've tried to do for patients is of course to minimize unnecessary uh, lab draws and if possible try to coordinate them with other tests that are being done that day or other visits that are being done that day um, and some you know the infusion appointments of course are necessary uh, but again i think the risk of going to an infusion appointment is quite low uh, where i think the risk gets a little bit higher is when you're sitting in waiting rooms of clinics um, and some people are slipping their masks off to drink coffee or to do other things like that. Um, and so on my end, what I've tried to do to reduce risk is to utilize telehealth appointments as much as possible so that patients aren't spending time in waiting rooms. Um, but again, some of the necessary evils are just that you have to get some labs drawn to make sure that it's safe to administer chemotherapy, to make sure that the treatment is working. Uh, and you also have to go to infusion appointments. I will say I'm pretty strict about masking um, so if I have a patient uh, perhaps come in for an in-person visit and it's the type of mask where it's um, slipping off of their face as they're talking, and we've all experienced those types of masks that fit fine until you actually start talking, um, I'll uh, uh, go get uh, replacement masks for them um, to really make sure that everybody, the healthcare providers, the team, as well as the patient, and if there's a family member with them, are, are as safe as can be, and that includes wearing a, a properly fitted mask. Thank you.